Connect, man. Oh, okay. Damn! Yeah, we did it! We did it. Come on, have respect for Jamie. In the world, no. Yeah, no. He, no. He reinvented himself. <laughs> so did Britney Spears, but I don't have any respect for her. Oh, man. Purpose is the hey, best no, no. in the world. No, no. We need the. Uh, Who's there? Alexa here, Britney Spears. Britney Spears here. No, no. Who's there? Britney Spears. I don't get it. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ashamed of myself. <laughs> Y'all gonna be able to hear me breathe unless I'm like Darth Vader over here. Okay, you guys ready? See. Yeah. All right, kids, sit down and be quiet. Listen to the preaching. No talking, no playing, no nothing. Just be quiet and listen. You're in church. Kids playing in church. That's what we're going to talk about tonight on episode 12. We're going to go there and beyond. Welcome to today's Sticks and Dirt Kidmen podcast. A Christian-based kids ministry broadcast for the family of teachers, volunteers, and light creative soul winners. Sharing experience and experiments. And now, today's podcast. We're going to be talking today about uh, kids playing in church, and this is probably going to be a two or three part series because there was the more I got into this, there was more neat little tidbits on it than what I had uh, thought there would be. So, anyway, today we've got uh, Jared the Epic Henry in here with us today. Let's give it up for Jared. It's like really cold in here. I'm, I'm chattering my teeth right now. Oh, you're not chattering your teeth. I'm about to. Well, chatter your teeth for us. Get it all out. I, I came on the spot, dude. Travis can just chat her teeth over here. There, Taylor did. There we go. That, that helps a little bit. <laughs> chat her teeth for you. All right, very good. And we have Justin and Taylor here today. Give it up for them. Woo-hoo! Salutations. And they come here last minute. No, you guys were following a parade, or was you in the parade? Oh, I we was were, in the parade. We were in the parade. You were in the parade. I was playing yeah. video games in the parade. So he was a video <laughs> game parade float. Sure. I'm okay. an angry driver. Angry driver. Okay. She that. Okay. And go. Travis has pod jinx today. Yep, 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 yahoo. <laughs> How many jokes you got today? I'm going to just do two. Just two. What? Thank, thank God. Aww. Yeah. Awkward. <laughs> and we got, I got to pace myself here. I can't. Okay. There's not enough jokes to go around. And That's we have another potential commercial sponsor tonight, too. I didn't tell you guys this until just uh, now. Uh, and it actually combines... Two really good elements. You guys ready for this? Water and wind? Nope. One commercial contains both Veggie Tales and Chick fil A. <laughs> I'm down for one yeah. of those for sure. <laughs> what, Veggie Tales? <laughs> yeah, that's what yeah. I like. <laughs> The only veggies I like from Chick fil A are the, potato, or the french fries. Mm hmm. So. We'll do waffle. that here in a little bit. So waffle fries. Waffle fries. I think uh, Jared will have him play his kazoo. If you got the live feed up there, uh -huh. I'm holding the actual one and only kazoo. <laughs> the that Jared the Epic Henry played. He's our professional kazooist. We'll auction it off for charity later. Yeah. Uh, no, we With will not auction it off. Still on it. Yeah. <laughs> we, and we have, and we have an intro for Jared's kazoo segment. Here it yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> I just That's picture awesome. I, we need a cartoon of him like just buzzing around. Like, oh, we can. Yeah, we yeah, need to be caricature up with him in a character. Absolutely. Awesome. Yeah, and then when you touch it, it does that. <laughs> like a touch screen cartoon image there. Yeah, with the, awesome. kid, on the light kid app game. game. Yeah. Make it a game. Make an app game. Because but game. kids don't play in church, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> Enough. So, all right, let's get it started because there's a lot to go through here today. So, um, kids playing in church. Now, what I said before when we got started was... Probably pretty much what we're used to hearing, or what we probably heard when we were kids. I know that's what I always heard. And uh, it probably still happens a lot today. So um, I'm, that's probably more in a sanctuary setting. Kids are in the uh, adults uh, area, 
and uh, mom and dad tell them to be quiet, and we know how that goes. We've all been there. We've probably done it ourselves. I'm talking more in kids' church and when we at Sunday school and things. Should we allow kids to play in Sunday school and kids' church? So, off the top of your head, what's your guys' answer? Absolutely. Not. Not? <laughs> like during the, uh, the message? Or like before and after? Yeah, like it depends on the mean? setting. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Jared? What was, what was the question? Oh my <laughs> goodness. Yeah. Mm. Should kids be allowed to play in church? <laughs> get, a, get a thing on that one, okay. So we, we, what we need to do is is be fair and, uh, like Justin said, you know, depends on, depends on the setting. So I'm looking at it in controlled environment in kids' church. Uh, it's organized and it's guided with a purpose. So I'm going to tell you up front. I think that playing should be allowed in church. Now I'm talking about in kids' church, not in the sanctuary, and that's actually a whole new subtitle in itself. So, in kids' church, they'd be allowed to play. I say yes. And I say under some certain guidelines, like I said, organized and guided with purpose. So, I'm, uh, first of all, I don't think kids should just be let alone to go in there and just free play throughout the entire service. Mm-hmm. You know, at any time. But, uh, playing, you know, like before service, okay? Uh, before we get started, we usually let our kids play around in the connect room. And, um, yes. Is that picking us up? Because it's just a straight bar. It's, not it's just a straight bar. I hope it's picking us up. It's not doing anything. Yeah, it's not doing, not doing bounce waves in here. We're just checking our thing here. Well, I'm hoping it's working here. <laughs> Should we stop and take a look oh, at it? Oh, man. Maybe. <laughs> that means we have to start all over. All those board. jokes. <laughs> I know, right? It'd be flush. We're here, I'm wearing, we're here watching the, uh, the garage band file as it's going through, and usually we see sound waves bouncing around. And, no, it's not catching. You're not plugged in. Yep. Wow. <laughs> it records, but it wasn't plugged in. Oh. Wow. Wow. Man. Oh, here, wait, wait, wait. I got one for this. Epic fail. No. So wait a minute, all of that was just gone? Yes. Yes, all that was just... Wait, I was doing good. I was doing so good. Oh, hold on. Were you, were you though? Were you doing so good? I have that one. Yes. It's recording now. You have to be not... <laughs> That. She stopped immediately. <laughs> I can't <laughs> find it. I have the You Are an I Idiot saying, button on I here. I can't it. find it. She was like... <laughs> she was telling her, she's being that one works. Very, uh, there we go. Being recorded. So, so what are we going to do now? We're going to do it all over again. I like that. You didn't so hear good. anything. You had such a what good, happened, Randy? You had such a good like intro. Like it, it you do it this time. And then you screw. Yeah, it let's up let Jared do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all you need to say is one thing: enough. <laughs> yes, enough. Now, see, Jared, that's your job because this is right next to you. You should have told man, me that's not plugged in. Jared, I think you should just keep it from there. Like, why well, should just start the podcast the way we just did? Yeah, we'll just go back to the. So, if anyone's watching live feed, they get to they get to see all. This. Point of, yeah. point of finger yeah. at me. Is there anyone on there? Anybody on there? Right now? Uh, I don't know. Your mom? Your uh, wife. Okay. Oh, awesome. your wife is. Here we go. Just keeping an eye on you. Boom, Rose. Two. Two. One. Sit down and be quiet. It is time for church. Jared, don't act up. Sorry. Okay? Uh, Listen to the preaching or there'll be consequences to pay. We're in the house of God. Behave yourself. Act like an adult. Okay, sorry. Kids playing in church. That's what we're talking about today. Should they be allowed to play in church? We're going to talk about that. We're going to go there, Jack. <laughs> and beyond. Welcome to today's Sticks Very and Dirt Kidmen podcast. A Christian-based kids ministry broadcast for the family of teachers, volunteers, and light creative soul winners. Sharing experience and experiments. And now... Today's podcast. Quick throw my pants. <laughs> what is that? That's <laughs> what happens when I dance. Got Tragic some non Nonsense podcast. No nonsense show. No nonsense podcast. Okay, we can work on that sometime. All right, kids playing in church. You've probably heard that before. 
as when you were a child, and some of us as adults have probably said it to our kids, most likely in the church sanctuary. When the pastor's getting ready to come up and preach and deliver the word, you tell your kids to be quiet. I know when I was a kid, I was always told that, and when my children were growing up, we did the same thing to them. So should kids be allowed to play in church? My answer, after Travis says his, no. Taylor? Maybe. Maybe. Justin? <coughs> Absolutely. Okay. Justin? Or uh, Jared? <laughs> I didn't hear that. What would you say? Okay. He's just embarrassed because he got in trouble for, <laughs> for talking. I say yes, but is before it, we go is, there. Is this a test? or No, this is the real deal. We are recording right I now. Admit, this never is mind. <laughs> we are <laughs> live. We're live. The audience is right on the side of the mirror. We have Travis Day with Pod Jinx. Let's give it up for Travis. Yeah. And never, never enough. How many questions today? Or jokes? Just the three. What is two. with you right now? Two. Huh? Wow. Messing up like not nice. messing up. Always wow. mess up. That's, that's, that's why we keep that's why we keep doing this thing over and over again. Let's, it let's have a random <laughs> screw up, John. <Jordan>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> here, let me give, give me the jar. Yeah, let me get let me get a quarter here somewhere. There's a, let me get a quarter. Randy Travis, what's this? You're going on a the jar. Jar. So there. <laughs> Screws in there for in the, in the You're trying jar. to stab my it was, fingers. It was, it was in there. It was trying to amplify the sound. To get I know. To put a quarter in the chair jar for my mess ups. There we yeah. go. It's okay. paint. Guess who's going on vacation now? Guess who's going to <laughs> Disneyland now? Travis. Me and Travis. Travis. He's the only I'm, one that doesn't have a jar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Where was we at? Oh, Taylor said what? Yes? No? Maybe. What? Yes? No? She said okay. maybe. Maybe. You said maybe. Okay. Maybe. So Travis has Pa Jinx with us today. We get him his applause. Justin and Taylor is here today. Let's give them their applause. Say hi to everybody. Hi to everybody. Salutations. And Jared the Epic Henry is here today. The professional kazooist. <laughs> man. How's it going, man? Can't even put it down. For one huh? second. Slowly but surely. Oh. You're going to play the kazoo tonight for us, aren't you? Oh, okay. Sure. Sure. Yeah, he will. He's going to play his kazoo with it for us tonight. And uh, that's going to be interesting. The thing is, he doesn't know what he's going to be playing. But he's that good. <laughs> he is that good, folks. Oh, man. Yes, if you listen to the very first time we had him on here, he played with Toby Mack. I mean, it was like he was listening to, like he was in the studio and that's he was he playing was with the band. I know. It's that professional. So, okay, what's going on over there? What am I hearing? She's not that's being a, professional. That's a really sick She's not being professional. She's cold. Now, if you're going to play the tatter, Chatter Teeth, you need to put it up in the Tatter Teeth. Another coin in the jar. This is going to put it in the jar. Now, if I have to put a quarter in the jar every time I make a do mistake, a twister, I make a mistake. We'll be going to a cruise in about two months. <laughs> I'd be going on a cruise. Okay. Travis will be going on a cruise. Yeah. I'll, I'll buy myself. So, He's the only one that doesn't have a jar. All by myself. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about kids playing in church. Um, like I said, we've probably heard that or said that ourselves before. I believe that kids should be allowed to play in church, in kids' church. In the sanctuary, I understand that's a different story. But let's focus about kids' church, and let's talk about should they be allowed to play in there. And I say yes under some certain guidelines, that the environment is controlled, that it's organized, and that you are guiding the play with a purpose. So, um, not free range. At, you know, they just, I'm not saying the kids should be allowed to play at any old time during your kids' church service. Now, in ours, in Connects, we let the kids play. Uh, we start at 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday, and if they're there early, they get to play. And at 10 o'clock, we say, put the toys up, and we get started. So, we let them play in there. Um, you know, we have hula hoops, uh, some little Nerf balls and stuff, and uh, bowling set, man, we just let them have free range play while the music plays before we get started. So let's talk about what are some of the bullet points or reasons why uh, we should let kids play in church. And I want you guys to think about maybe when you were a kid, uh, maybe some fun times you had when you were a kid in church, or maybe some times where uh, it wasn't so fun and you wish you could have done something. You know, what? how could your Sunday school have been fun? Or did you guys have a good time in Sunday school when you were growing up? Was it all straight and narrow and sit down and be quiet, or did your teachers let you have some extracurricular activity? Um, 
Mine, I, I have some good childhood memories of those at the churches I went to. Um, they was pretty cool. And uh, that's been a while back. That was back in the 70s. And um, and I, I remember some real good memories of our kids' church and our Sunday school classes. Um, yeah, we had to sit down and be quiet a lot, but they allowed some playtime for us. And it was healthy for us. So uh, when we go through these points, um, you guys just chime in and, and uh, give us your, um, uh, your idea on things. Let's go with number... One. Ding. We have not done that since the last time you were here, Jared. <laughs> ain't my fault. We did that because of you, because you like that. Thanks. <laughs> Man, it really means a lot. <laughs> Sounds really enthused over there. <laughs> Playing gives kids, uh, gives opportunity for the kids to connect to each other. And that just kind of goes without saying. When kids have time to play with each other, they connect one with another, and you definitely want that in your kids' church. You want your kids to connect one to another. Having that play time, that organized uh, time where they are playing together, having activities and things, um, helps them connect. Now, what? think of a game, you guys, and think of a game that um, one, on, one versus the other. What kind of game can they do where they're challenging each other? That they have to connect. What kind Boxing. of game? Tug of war. Boxing. Boxing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. Some a little bit more settled than that. There's that one. We, we have some stuff in here in our kids' church. They don't always do it, but uh, it's around there. But we pulled it out before. But some activities they can do one versus the other. What can they do where they can connect? There was that one to get that like the half soccer ball. Okay. Okay. And like it was like two months ago, but Isaiah and I can't remember who the other boy was, but um, they were like kicking it back and forth, and it was like I think it was before church. I'm pretty sure it was before. Uh, so they had the little goal, net. little yellow, yeah, little little okay. mini soccer nets. There, there you go. Yeah. So you got a, a boy kicking a ball, and a little tiny goalie net there, and they're playing, you know, offense defense. So that's a one on one type situation, and you open that up, and you get a visitor kid in there who wants to play. They want to hop in and be part of it. They're engaging. They're getting to know this other kid. Maybe they've never met before. So they're breaking the ice. What kind of game um, that they can do together, maybe as a group? But something they, they can do here as a group. Monkey in the middle. Huh? Your microphone just went out over there. Monkey in the middle. Monkey in the middle. The real ones play that a lot. Yeah. Especially yeah. with their little brother. Monkey in the middle is a good one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, other things, um, if we had a chalkboard in there. I know we've had some uh, walls with chalkboards on it before. Kids like playing the chalk art stuff. Oh this, yeah, the dry erase things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the dry erase draw, stuff. Draw together. Yeah, just draw together. There's things they can do corporately uh, and they engage with one another and um, that's, that's connecting kids to kids. So, that's pretty simple. Uh, let's go to the second one. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Playing gives opportunity for kids to connect with the leaders. That would be us. That would be the big people. How many of you guys go out there and spend time with the kids? I playing? just stay in the sound booth. You just <laughs> <laughs> tries to survive. <laughs> well, Jared's not in there, but he has been before. No, no one would want to play with him anyway. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Travis, no, he's over here showing remorse. Travis is like, I'm holding my ground. <laughs> I've seen it happen. They just run the other way. <laughs> now, I've, I've seen you play with kids before. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it don't have to be like get to play a full 15, 20 minutes with them. Just when you're walking through, I like walking through, and if they're throwing a little football, Intercepted. Oh, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> or, you know, and just slap so it. Bad. Just <laughs> slap it in the air. And I'm like, you're just really something. Yeah! Like Touchdown down. celebration dance. Yeah. Yeah. They get furious. Usually, I I will, if I'm playing with a kid, I'll you know, play fetch or you know, throw him a shoe toy. And... Are we talking about a dog <laughs> or a child? <laughs> Being real, man. Real, real podcast. <laughs> How much is your babysitting service? I gotta yeah. think about that. Okay. Yeah, I'll get back to you on that. Chandler, I mean, uh, Jared has actually been a dog sitting oh, service. Oh man, it's for Chandler. Funeral service. That's how it's gonna end, man. Funeral service. It better not. That's a nice dog. Oh man, not when they're not there, man. It's, it's different. 
<laughs> so, um, what about anyone got any memories when you were a child? Um, oh man. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Give it to. I know what Jared's gonna be like. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's the wrong vibe. Wrong vibe. Wrong vibe. Wrong okay, vibe. Wrong vibe. Okay, was it more like what this? Is... I, I don't want no music. No, oh, okay. I'm oh, sorry. Oh my lord. <laughs> No Nothing, no music. Okay. No, no, no. So, <laughs> so you want me to tell you how how it was? Like, just like one of those Sunday school. Yeah, Sunday school. We didn't, we didn't like, we didn't have like. I think the well in my church, I didn't have. I think as it like progressed, kids ministry like got better. I feel. Mm -hmm. Um, so like I just sat in Sunday school. It's pretty much it. <laughs> but I mean, I was the PK, so I could do what I wanted. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so yeah. So you don't have any memorable times where you guys actually played, or just or just pretty much cut and dry. I mean, and I mean, sometimes we went outside and did stuff, but I, I can't really remember that. You know, whole but sometimes there. we'd go outside. Justin, how about you? And, and they would have to say, "Jared, get, stop running, get off the road." <laughs> Spit out that dirt, Jared. Yeah. <laughs> stop, stop kissing that girl, Jared. All right. <laughs> oh stop pretending yeah. there's a girl there. <laughs> <laughs> Travis is too popular. And people's calling him like crazy. Uh, well, uh, you need to go on an airplane. Face is calling. I get, there's a lot of questions. So. Can you do an airplane mode while Wi Fi? I don't know. Yes, you is can. That if you can, that's what you guys start doing. Yeah, that's true. Or you can put your phone on, like, do not disturb. Uh, that's true, too. Yeah. Justin, how about you? Have any memories in Sunday school? <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Put it on speaker if you want to let everyone hear what you're doing on your phone. Are you leaving me a message or we're, we're getting we're getting sidetracked here? Hardcore. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> oh my god. All oh, that oh. time. <laughs> no, what was it? It was a. Uh, when science. you were a kid. When I was a kid? Yeah. What no. was Cisco like to be? Was it fun? Was it kind of like blah? I'll be honest with you, like, yeah. with like the moving around a lot and stuff like that, I never really. I can't, like, Think of any uh, Sunday school memories as far as like that age at least. I mean, when I was a teenager, it was a little bit different. It's, that's a, that is applicable at, at the moment. So, I mean. That's sad, Justin. Yep. We feel for you. We, we're here. We're here. <laughs> Help make that up to you. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, um, Taylor, this better be good. It better, because that's what <laughs> no, you're right there. No, there's probably been some times where we told him to be quiet. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you remember, really? Well, yesterday you got on to me. Uh, that was yesterday. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I mean, Sunday school was pretty fun. Of course. I loved um, in Royalton whenever we had the superhero theme. The entire oh. fellowship hall was made as a superhero comic strip, and ever all the adults were lead, like um, reporters for the Daily Bugle. What, wait, isn't that what we? It was called? something, like, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Daily Planet, Daily Bugle, something like that. Something it was like a that. newspaper. And there was always a different villain each week, and they he put together a skit every single Sunday, and the leaders would um, go along with the skit. And the villain that was behind this wall would influence all of the all of the teachers, well, all the reporters, and they would all like if so if it's the ruler, they would all start getting confused on like what's right and wrong and things like that. And then at the end of the the skit, we would have a kid have the mighty hand of God, and he would break down the wall, and then we would tie up the bad guy. And it was always just this cardboard cutout that was painted amazingly. And we would wrap it in saran wrap, and that would be binding it in Jesus' name. And it was awesome. Yeah, the you would burn it. 
No. no. That was a burnt offering. The saran wrap was pulled and twisted to make it look like a Spider-Man web that yes. Spider-Man uh, shot in. And Spider-Man greeted you at the door like he was hanging from the ceiling yeah, and the offering. Kind of service. So <laughs> whenever you whenever you go through the door, there was like a toll booth and that's where you paid your offering and then it would raise the bar that's and awesome. you would go in. It was it was awesome. We should have somebody do that, that full time. Like my, you're at the my. church, we'll have like one person designated as a greeter and they dress up like Spider-Man. <laughs> I'll walk through the well, main doors every every Sunday <laughs> <laughs> every, every Sunday, a different superhero. But we, we had life size <laughs> cutouts, cardboard cutouts that were painted yes. up to look like all the superheroes and supervillains. And they all had a Bible verse. Yep. Yep, they all had a Bible verse, speech bubble above them. Which like one that. was Spider Man? I can't remember. So no, many. Spider Man actually didn't have one. Yeah, he was, hanging he was from actually the hanging from the ceiling, and we had two Spider Men in there, actually. One at the door, That's and one hanging from the ceiling with Spider Web. Spider-Man deserves a screw. But anyway, that, that was a good memory. Yeah, yeah. those are just fun. Dude, and then I remember that, um, the shyster. Yeah, that was a uh, spirit-filled guy. He was a uh, well, the shyster and spirit. Shyster guy. and spirit. Yeah, shyster was the bad guy, and spirit-filled guy was the Christian superhero. Mm -hmm. Like today's equivalent of Bible man. So, yeah. but anyway, uh, kids playing with the leaders. So um, that. You want that. Kids need some hang time with their leaders. So just coming through before service when they're playing and uh, hooking up with them that way, spending some time with them. When the leaders do that, when leaders uh, have some uh, fun time with the kids, that builds a little bit of trust and relationship between that, that child and that adult. And especially if you're teaching that day, they may open up more to you when you're, when you're talking and teaching and listen more. So little times like that, just a few moments coming by, playing with them real quick, talking to them and, and going on. Those will be things like that build up uh, uh, a good rapport with the kids. So we definitely want to make sure that the leaders, when you're coming there, that you play with them too, okay, just for a little bit. Uh, number three. <laughs> play is one of the primary methods in which kids learn, okay. Uh, play is a child's learning lab and maybe more important than sitting down in a classroom for many kids. Uh, there, it's a proven fact that countries with a higher academic performance generally have more recess periods. Hmm. All Anyone? recess, no school. That's All recess, we're... no school. That's what I'm talking <laughs> about. Well, that's how Jared learned to that dirt taste bad. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. It wouldn't be where he is today. So now, now I've got some quotes here that I found, and you can Google up uh, these quotes, uh, children's playtime quotes or whatever. There's all kinds of them, and a lot of these people, you know, I don't even know who they are, but that doesn't matter, but they have uh, some good quotes here, and this one, uh, it says, children learn as they play, most importantly, in play, children learn how to learn. That's a deep thought there. Do you need time to think on that one there, Travis? I didn't know. I didn't even listen. You're going to have to, like, repeat oh, it. Oh, I think I got that, but just... Children so learn as they play. Okay. Got it. Period. Got it. Most importantly, Got it. comma, Got it. in play, Got it. or while they're playing, <laughs> comma, Got it. children learn Got it. how to learn. <laughs> Got it. So, so you got that? Got it. Okay, very good. And that's by a man uh, named Fred Donaldson. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> Nobody. Uh, Fred, I don't know who Fred Donaldson is. Yeah, but you gave him credit. So that's all I that give him credit. That's all that matters, yes. Okay? Citated. Now, here's another quote. Play is the beginning of knowledge. And knowledge is power. That is pretty deep. Power oh, requires yeah. responsibility. And that's by a guy named George Dorsey. George uh, Foreman. No. <laughs> no, that was Tim Allen. Big fly. George Dorsey, I have no idea who he is, but that's, that's pretty neat uh, quote there. Here's another one by Diane Ackerman. Uh, Again, I don't know who she is. Tim Allen. Okay. She says, play is our favorite way of learning. Okay. Um, there's some more quotes I'll get to here in a little bit, but it has been proven that when kids play, it generates and... Um, we want to welcome our member here into our studio audience here today. Just walked into the doors and joined us over here. Tiny to wave at the camera over there. It's Beverly. That's not Beverly. <laughs> <laughs> we got to find Beverly still, yes. So, um, 
Let's go on to num uh, number four here. We got lots of things to do tonight here. Number four. <laughs> Play can be used to illustrate biblical truth. Now, reverting back to what Taylor said about the superhero Sunday experience she had, when the teachers were doing skits with superheroes, and uh, and sometimes we would interject the kids in there as well. Um, it's been proven to be one of the best methods of teaching kids is whenever you um, use play within teaching. Now, how do you incorporate uh, play within teaching? That's, that's one of the guided things that I was talking about. When you're teaching your lesson and you invite the kids up to be a part of your skit or your lesson, part of the play or whatever, let them get up there and be in uh, you know, the silly costumes and hats and stuff and let them be engaged in your lesson like that. Those type of lesson formats have been proven to be one of the most effective things when teaching kids, especially in church. If you can get kids up there to be interactive with your lesson, even if they just stand up there with a silly costume on and look silly and just move around here and there while you're talking, they just think it's the grandest thing. What you can do mm -hmm. if you're spitting truth, if you're preaching truth, get a kid up there, punch them right in the mouth. Say truth hurts, don't it? <laughs> Lessons learned. Jared. <laughs> I was Jared, waiting for Jared, Jared Jar put up to the microphone. There we go. Thank you very much. What about demonstrations? Okay. Like Sister Amanda did. Few, uh, few, uh, few, refresh our memories. About a month ago with the um, the thing in the water. Yeah, I didn't get to see because there was too many kids crowded in it, but I remember oh, going yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah, it was like the water and I thought it was like ink or something. What, what, what was it? dye. Food coloring. Dye, yeah, food, food coloring. coloring. Mm -hmm. Food coloring. It was something along the lines about... Uh, like the dye, so she had a plate and she put water in the plate and then she put the dye in the water and the, the dye was spreading all around. And then she put some, I can't remember what it was, but she put something in the middle and all the dye... Uh oh, I went to your microphone. I know, on the bottom part down there. All, all the dye came to the thing in the middle. Like it just like disappeared off of all around the plate. And she was just, it was, it was really, really That's cool. Right. Something like a toothpick in it. I don't think it was like soap was or something. Or... But I mean, she put like something the soap in the middle. And, like you got pepper in there and you put it. No, it, I know it wasn't that. That's it was something one. different. I didn't get to see it either. It was, it was really yeah, cool. Yeah, she had some deer park water in there. Deer park. It could yeah. be deer park water. Yeah, this. By the way, whenever I went, before we started, I uh -huh. went out to my car to get the, my phone charger. Yeah. And I found these waters in the bathroom. So they might actually be toilet water this time. Oh, no. Are you it serious? It could be backwashed. I mean, somebody I could have, like, some brushed their teeth. Oh. oh. <laughs> could be. It's, I'm drinking it anyway. Oh, hope not. Does it taste good? Yeah. It tastes as good as Members Mark does taste. Yeah. Sure. Oh. oh, my God. I mean, <laughs> I mean, in technicality, I guess, when the water initially goes into the toilet... It's not <laughs> contaminated per se. Circle of life. <laughs> is it? Is it toilet water cleaner though? Is it? I've heard that that is cleaner than. Yeah. I don't know. Let's That'd test, be weird though. Let's test it out. Somebody I mean, probably some water, chemicals but and pH stuff. pH test this though. Okay. I checked it. I checked. <laughs> it. pH tested. I checked the pH level. Just right. throw a couple fish in it's, there. It's They're mostly, dead in a couple hours. I think. It's mostly P no H. Shut up! I think P Graham. We just get away with that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We get we get three jokes because that was wrong. Okay. Uh, oh, here's another quote. Here we go. Here, here we go. A quote. Yep. No, there you go. <laughs> Let's hear that quote. Uh, here is another quote. Whoever wants to learn much, must play much. By the one and only... William Gretzky. William Shatner. <laughs> William Shakespeare. <laughs> William Shatner. <laughs> I'm going to spell his name out. Okay? G-O-T-T-F-R-I-E-D. It sounds... It looks like it says got fried. <laughs> Gottfried, Gilbert Gottfried. Gottfried. Gottfried, got fried, got fried Ben. So he died. Gottfried Ben. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea who he is. G O T T F R I E D is his first name. I live by What's that his last name. That's why and I played Ben, B E N N is his last name. I have no idea who he is. Huh. 
Are you but, sure there's no comma between the two no, names? No, not like that. Okay. <laughs> I double checked a lot of these, made sure people had the spelling right, and other people, other resources was online just, was that's who it was. So I have no idea who he is. He said, "Whoever wants to learn much must play much." So that's why I always play. Kids, kids will appreciate these quotes because they're true. Wants to learn. Okay. And and here's another one. And, and see if you can guess who this is from. Mr. Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> Nail on the head. No. Play is the highest form of research. Deion Sanders. It's not him. I thought Deion I read this. Sanders. That's what I read. Drew Brees. No. Play is the highest form of research. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Bill Nye. Say Nathaniel because he doesn't no, know. No, he's Nye, too busy saving Einstein. the world. <laughs> Albert Einstein. Yes, Was it really? Oh, there she goes. Man. See, again, I, don't, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> Albert Einstein. Again, I don't know who any of these people are. Some loser. Uh, Albert I got Einstein. It. Oh, you did guess I it? did she guess did, yeah. did guess it. Oh, all right, yeah. Uh, where's it? Uh, I was going to say that right. as a joke. Five points for Gryffindor. Stop. Right now. <laughs> she has her own jar. Yeah. Oh, she does? Oh, she has a dark jar. Aww. I trust you guys here. Give her a nerd jar. It's a nerd jar. You have to get your own quarter over there. Those we got watching on the video feed, we have a quarter jar. It's called the Jared jar. And whenever we say something stupid like Jared does, that's you know, me. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> or if I do a tongue twister, which, you know, I have to put a quarter in the jar. Or if she or, says something that just isn't. Yeah. You know, we pass it around. And uh, appropriate. Uh, uh, we have Harley the pup here today. He's okay. Harley the puppy. Uh, and if you put Harley up there on the camera over there, show everyone. Yeah, the kids love the puppy. Kids love the puppy. She's a yes. puppy. She's a cute puppy. She's the cutest there puppy. Comes Harley. Make her viral. Here comes Harley. Here she comes. I need $2,000. Yeah, there's Harley the pup. Okay. Dude, you want to know something weird? What's right. weird? I have this phobia. It's called omnophobia. It's when you have the, like, when you are when you can't look at stuff in the eye and stuff. So I'm kind of freaking out right now. Well, she so, oh, oh, yeah. Well, she, oh, she has a cherry eye. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's She's very, not possessed. No, well, I know. It's very common in dogs of her breed. It just pops whatever up. Whatever breed she is, we don't whatever, know what that is. Yeah, whatever, whatever's in her. But um, no it randomly popped up. It just, we, we woke up one morning and there it was. And it has gotten smaller. That's good. And it doesn't seem to bother her, but one of the only ways to get rid of it is surgery. Oh, dude. Oh. It will go away though, right? With well, surgery. Uh, I don't know what you have to say. It's right. iffy. It's iffy. I mean, it's, it, it, and it, even it if you have the surgery, it could pop back up. It could, it could <laughs> subside naturally, but odds are it won't. You have to get it done surgically. And even if you get it done surgically, it is not guaranteed to stay in place. Well, we live here at S&D. We love dogs. I think I think we need um, in the arms of an angel playing. We need these funds <laughs> to get Harley. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. That don't you have that in the arms? <laughs> Sing it, Jared. Pull out your kazoo, play it for us. <laughs> I'm gonna like throw away the kazoo. So no, you're not. Find it. No. Let's know go where. buy another one. <laughs> Let's do our last one, number five for tonight. Harley. Play. <laughs> play makes a fun experience in your church for the kids. Now, if you want your kids to pretty much drag the parents back to church. Right. No, I don't want <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> Members of our studio audience are interacting with the staff here. The one just dis distracted the member, member of the yes, pass the Jared jar over to our studio oh, audience, man. please. That's my jar. <laughs> <laughs> This to one. be okay. fair, in my defense, this thing is like directly aimed at me, so I don't actually <laughs> see it. So just kind of... We have microphone stands. Like everywhere I'm gonna here. get him in the face. You're like right. a T Rex. Here comes a quarter in the Jared jar for our. It's not okay. unique anymore. No, it it's needs to be in front of the. Yeah, there we go. Do it again. Let's do it again in front of the microphone. Except for those nails. Okay, there we go. That was right. that was still weak. Might want to check your connection over there too. Talk. Boop, boop. Okay, we're good. Okay, so no better way to bring your kids back in the church than if they have a good time. Uh, in kids' church, they want to come back again, and you know, and that's what it's all about. You want your kids to come back. I know a lot of times we want to get so spiritual that we want our kids to come back because they feel the presence of God. Well, yeah, okay, yeah, we do, but they're children, and the first thing that's going to attract them is having fun. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying have nothing but play time throughout all kids' church, but it has to be an element 
in your kids' church or in your Sunday school. It needs to be an element there, you know, from beginning to end. You know, again, controlled, organized, okay, and guided with a purpose. So, um, here's another quote. I said quote correctly. No. <laughs> Not funny. It's, it's a real thing. This is serial. It's a real thing. This is a real thing. No, we're talking about two He's different like, things right now. Okay. Yeah. He's squirming in his chair over there because the donkey's making eye contact. Oh. He needs those blood that horses have on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you, 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 like Rachel Green. On our, our studio audience is intimidating. I, I, I can't even watch that episode. I can't watch that. <laughs> you get your hater blockers on. Our man. studio audience is haters. taking Holly the pup and making faces at Jared. We're just going to take pictures and send it to t- <laughs> We will post pictures on the S&D Facebook page of Harley the Pup and her cherry I'm, I am unfollowing you. <laughs> <laughs> so, the opposite of play is not work. It is... Learn. <laughs> Come on. Depression. Uh, what? That took a time. The opposite of play... Yes, it did. The opposite of play is not work. It's depression. It took a so sad... Come on. Brian Sutton Smith. Again, I don't know who that is. I don't know who these people are. So why don't, why don't you do some research? And, and I did. Look at that stuff is right here. That's official paperwork. I could, we could, you know, someone could be googling these people up and letting us know who they are. Not that it makes any difference, but there's no comments. So yeah, if you know who Brian Sutton Smith is Please. or uh, got fried Ben. <laughs> It's Gofford. Albert right. Einstein. Uh, Einstein. Pronounce it right. Jar. <laughs> George Dorsey and Diane Ackerman. These people make some really good quotes about kids playing, but we have no idea. You know who Diane Ackerman is? Diana. Oh, I thought you said Dan. Oh, like the he, one. Here's, a, here's a good thing. Brian Sutton Smith. Better known as Brian Sutton Smith. Yay! <laughs> was a play theorist who spent his lifetime attempting to discover the cultural significance of play in human life. There you go. That's a good one. The more ooh, you know. Wow. I like that one. You know. so he, was, he researched that. IQ plus the, one. The importance of play. Very good. So this can get real deep. Hey, there's probably like five or six, seven, eight, nine, ten more things we can cover, but we're going to stop here today. I'm going to leave with this. What about, talking about playing, let's go back into the sanctuary. What about kids nowadays playing with iPhones, fart and smells, iPads? Ooh. Playing with fart smells. Smartphones. Smartphones. <laughs> so close to getting a jar. <laughs> so, so close. So close to getting a jar. So close, because he didn't say smartphone. He said phone. Oh. <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> God. Harley. No, it, it she's over, over here with me. There's bullfrogs in here. Oh. No, that's what he does. He's got four dogs over there. He's got four dogs to blame a, a, a stinky on. Well, so let, let's let's talk about, real quick. What's your opinion? Opinion, and I'll give you mine. Kids playing with in a sanctuary when pastors teaching. And, and to be honest, I don't care. I have an honest opinion. Um, if so back playing, in the day, you played with toys because you didn't have those. So I consider it the same thing. Okay. If you let, if you let your kid play with toys and. You should not let them play with their iPhones because that's what they have. But usually, I just I just fell asleep. So <laughs> I crawled that's underneath the pews. And I, dude, I two reasons I crawled underneath the pews. Mm-hmm. One, I was I was very tired. I was going to sleep. Two, I was deathly afraid of what was happening in church. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> some kids had that. That's true. Oh, some I was kid, scared. Yeah, that that it, that's true. It sounds funny, but it's true. Some kids uh, it's are afraid. They have no idea because of what's going on in church. And uh, they do have that. They experience that. So I'd be playing chase under the pews. <laughs> I was seriously like trying to crawl to the, as fast as I possibly could to the back of the church. I mean, it was a small church, so it wasn't very hard. <laughs> Justin, what do you think about kids playing with iPads, iPhones, electronics um, in church, in the sanctuary when passing? I think church. it depends on the age, but I mean, like, I don't think generally speaking, even for kids, I mean, their attention span is extremely small. So I mean. I don't see really the issue with it as long as it's not distracting other people. Because like, there's sometimes where like kids are like right there in front of you and they got like a game going on. And I mean, I know we're adults, but let's be real here. ADD is a real thing, okay? And yeah. So. You have a kid in front of you playing Minecraft on their iPad. Yo, I and listen, I want. Yeah, yeah. that's going to catch this guy's attention. I mean, this thing can go all different directions here. So before I go to Taylor, uh, we definitely want to keep in mind you know, the past. Some pastors. We'll set that presence in the church, and they'll say, "No phones, no iPads during the service, during the 
you know, main preaching. And, you know, we should respect that. And I can see why, definitely. Um, but not everywhere is it like that, and not all the time is it, you know, enforced, especially in large churches. You can't really enforce that, okay? Uh, Taylor, what's your, what's your uh, take on that? Um, I think they have their place, but not a constant thing. So not like, like during the whole service? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, when, I mean, us growing up, you told us if we were old enough to pay attention in school, we were old enough to pay attention in church. We said that? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you were old enough to pay attention in school, you were old enough to pay attention in church, yes. yes. And so we could bring, like whenever we were little, we brought toys to church. But once we were in school, we weren't allowed to bring toys to church. And we actually had to sit and we had to listen. Okay. Isn't that awful? <laughs> <laughs> Travis. You know, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. I, I would prefer like a healthy mix of maybe that and some toys from home or um, like you can't be sitting there on the iPad the whole time I mean it, listen to the message a little bit have okay. your kid listen to the message I know it's easy for me to say now because I don't have kids but like maybe when I do I'll say sit there and just listen to your, <laughs> your game and, and don't bother me <laughs> <laughs> could be I mean maybe like no iPad no, no toys or devices during Worship and praise. Yeah, right, right, exactly. But maybe when, like, depending on the age of the child during the preaching, I mean, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe a little leeway there as far as uh, toys and devices to kind of keep them more or less preoccupied and less distracting to other adults. That's a good yeah, point. Yeah, because at that age, kids are really influenced by music. Mm -hmm. Like they're they're dancing to music. And again, and, sometimes I've seen like, this a kid playing with his iPad and he's like sitting there all quiet and everything and then he puts it away and he'll get like a toy car and he's like throwing it all around. Mm -hmm. the, he's like just a little toy car and he's like running it all over the pews and stuff. And he gets more like, attractive. Yeah, yeah like during, which one's better? Like During the worship service moms, that wouldn't necessarily yes. bother me but during the sermon I got yeah, like, acting thing. like he's like Superman or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that would get mm -hmm. a little bit distracting. Mm -hmm. uh, a smart a smartphone might Parts be. See, you did it on purpose, though, so it doesn't deserve a jar. I did it on purpose last time. I just sold it. <laughs> sold it Here's my take. I think they should, um, I'm kind of, you know, 50-50. I think there's got to be a balance in there. So one of you guys said balance somewhere in the mix. Um, let's say, like, what we do in our situation, our first hour is kids' church and classes. Then the second hour, we come in there all together, collectively. Um, and, and every family, every situation is different, and... I'm not saying this to impose or to enforce anything because my kids are grown on their own. This is just my opinion. That's all it is. Um, you know, maybe bring the kids in there and they can be involved during the worship service. Typically, that's how the format goes. There's music and you have your offering and, and things like that. And then when the preaching comes, um, hey, if, if they're able to sit there and listen for a little bit, let them listen. And I understand that kids, you know, Attention gets drawn away after probably five or ten minutes, and they're starting to drift and not pay attention. Chances are they're going to fall asleep anyway. Yeah. At a certain age. Yeah. I, I see no problem. You get with older, them. they'll pay attention more, but some right. of the younger ones, you put your phone away, and they'll just sit there, and after a while, they'll just. Yeah, they're going to go to sleep, or they'll, they'll do something to get fidgety and be a distraction anyway. They'll just need to pass out fidget sticks. Fidget sticks. Fidget sticks. <laughs> fidget sticks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he passes fidget sticks. Thing. Yes. Fidget sticks. I want, Sorry, I want to own a fidget stick. Yeah, messing with your mic. I didn't oh, I meant to go get. Oh, I meant to go get one. That's why. I went. Yeah, fidget yeah, sticks. Outside. Where do you get them at? Walmart. The Walmart. Walmart. So yeah, maybe I think there comes a point where you can maybe bring those things out. Let your kids. Um, would you like to have Harley the dog say something for the studio it's audience? A weird noise. It's making her make a weird noise. Uh, She's making, making her make problem. a weird yeah. noise. <laughs> 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 you get the mic. Let Harley say her part. <laughs> Harley is trying to play over here, and Marla, Harley's up to the microphone, and they're trying to get her to growl. Oh, don't poke her, I did. <laughs> don't look, Jared. I don't know if her microphone's working. Oh, I, can't, I can't do this, man. <laughs> we're, we're trying to do this to entertain everybody. So if you guys can you put your imagination caps on right now, imagine there's a cute little brown puppy 
right in front of the microphone here, and he's biting the uh, microphone. There, there we there go. go. We got it. Definitely not being yeah. tortured. Yeah. Not being tortured, just a dog fight. Listen, if the dog wants to fight, then why should we be holding them back? <laughs> you ever thought about that? Yeah, right. I, I did that first. Maybe. Oh, you did? Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, how about you not hit your mic? That'd be great. Can you choose soundboard over there? So, I, was, I was trying to mop today, and she kept attacking the mop. Oh, no, God. she was like legit barking. Like <laughs> I'm not talking like a little rough, rough. I'm talking like disturbing all the neighbors in a one mile radius. Ours can't bark. stand our sweeper or our uh, our broom. Vacuum? Like a, a just a broom. <laughs> Cut off. Yeah, <laughs> shut up, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> you that, you're so close to the off, jar. <laughs> that closes off our segment there with um, uh, why should kids be allowed to play in church? And we will continue that on our next podcast. We'll do some more of those. And finish that off. But um, as for right now, uh, we want to kind of go through and give you guys a uh, little taste of some of our commercials we've been doing. Um, let's see. Our last time, we were trying to reach out to John Christ to do this one right here. Believer on your list this holiday season. Alexa, what's the weather? The sun is raining. Say hello to Christian Alexa, the Believer's alternative to the Amazon Echo. Alexa, play Kanye West. How about Matthew West? Now everything you love about the Echo, except super Christian. Alexa, text Vanessa, can't wait to see you soon, kissy face emoji. Is that really guarding her heart? <laughs> With advanced situational recognition, Christian Alexa is here to encourage. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Always wanted to be a better Christian? Well, now you can with Christian Alexa. Ah, shh. Let no unwholesome talk come out of your mouth. And each Christian Alexa is uniquely programmed to help you with your individual struggles. Hey, you want something to drink? That better be a Coke bottle. Order your Christian Alexa today and begin seeing immediate life improvements. Let's eat. How about let's pray? From the makers of Pure Flix and God Tube comes Christian Alexa. Alexa, play Game of Thrones. Are you sure you should be watching that? Give the gift of Christian Alexa and have a happy holiday. You mean Merry Christmas. You know, let's just not even worry about You know what, let's just listen to some music. You wanna do that? Yeah. Alexa, play a song to set the mood. How about I call your accountability partner? Oh, okay, you know what, all right. Christian Alexa. Now available at Henry Bookstore. Now, we have not heard from John Christ yet, and we've reached out to him, and hopefully he'll sponsor us with his Christian Alexa. But if not... We want to consider having this commercial by Larry. Hey, Chick-fil-A fans. Larry here. I wanted you to be the first to know about our first ever audiobook series. Available exclusively in Chick-fil-A Kids Meals. Stop. Nugget time. That's tasty. Each audio CD features stories and songs from all your veggie friends. Pause for waffle fries. Mm. Head to your nearest Chick-fil-A and collect all five today. Chocolate milk is calling my name. So Veggie Tales and Chick-fil-A. Think maybe they'll help us out. Yeah, maybe. Sponsor now, time. Now I want Chick-fil-A. I want Chick we could all go out for Chick-fil-A after this, you know that, right? Dog oh. probably destroyed and ate half of the table. <laughs> You're just thinking about the dog. You guys are going home I'm like too. worried. Like, when you get home, it's going to be a mess from the espresso I'm, just, I'm probably going to be up all night, like, like oh. for real. Because Megan did it last time, time, and she's told me stories. And, uh oh. Man. Hard one to take care of. So. All right, well, that's it for our sponsors. So, with that music there, it means it's time for. Projects. Let's give it up for Travis. Oh, you want me to come over? No, give it up. Give it up. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> jar, quarter in the jar. <laughs> Don't forget about the kids. Oh, yeah, that's right. Kids, come on in. Hide your wife, hide your kids. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> They're not paying attention right now. They're just looking at Harley. 
Yeah, no, I'm not looking at Harley. I'm looking at the soundboard. No, I'm, I'm talking about the kids. They're they're paying attention to Harley. Oh. That's not why they're excited yeah. about coming they're in. They're looking at the studio window over there, aren't they? Yeah, they're oh, not. Oh, she's about to yell a whole lot louder. Why are they all crying? They can't. They didn't hear me. They can't. That was loud. Get to the puppy. They can see you through the window. Oh, d- tell them again, Justin. Kids, enough. Come in here. <laughs> God. Here they come. Yay. Enough. <laughs> All right, all the kids are in here, and we're ready for the podgings. Are you ready? Take it away, Travis. I got my favorite here. I like it better. Okay. Official. Okay. <laughs> what, uh, what animal is the worst to play chess with? I know it. I know it, too. What animal oh, I know is the worst to play chess with? You guys know this. So I have to think of another... Joke. I mean, I think I, I, I know what I think it is. I, know it. I think I know, but we, we should all say I'm, it together. Alright, you, you cast that and we'll all say it together. Here you go. Hold on, wait till the music's so. okay. on. I don't think it's right, but I'm gonna guess it. Anyway. Yeah, I'm like 50 50. I I don't, normally I hear it in a different way. I hope it's all like a whole different. <laughs> Everyone has a different animal. Alright, <laughs> count us down and we'll all say all right. it. Three, two, one. Cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Normally, I hear like playing cards with or something oh, like yeah. that. Chess is, that's the only reason why it threw me off a little bit. I'll have to okay. think of another joke after my second one. Because you guys got that one right. That's oh. all right. Go for it. So, uh, okay. Um, how can you tell it's raining cats and dogs? <laughs> There's a poodle on the ground. <laughs> oh my gosh, she got it. Oh, did she, she get it? Got it. it. Oh, well, kind of. Oh. At least wait till the music's over. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. God. Not okay. I, I was going to say when you step in a poodle. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> on. Jared, what's your guess? Huh? <laughs> she just said it. She just said what it was. No, I just want to know what your guess I, was. I knew it was raining cats and dogs. When freaking espresso <laughs> bites my leg off. <laughs> That's how I know. It's raining arms and legs. <laughs> when you can take a trip to the shizu. <laughs> Travis, she's all that cough, That was a good you? one. Uh, you, mean like, well, you could take a trip to the shizu. Are you like cussing, like low key? or? Like, <laughs> no. <laughs> Jemima say when she ran out of syrup? Say, you got to repeat that. It's not like you're speaking in tongues. What, what, did, did, what did Aunt Jemima say when she ran out of syrup? I need to get more syrup. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go to the grocery store. No. I lost weight. Convenience store. No. This is the last one, right? Yeah. Okay. You got my other ones, right? So I have to... She's going on a curveball now. Mm-hmm. This one, I've never heard this one. Repeat it one more time. What did... What did Aunt Jemima say when she ran out of syrup? Is that Deer Park? (laughs) (laughs) How's that Deer Park? (laughs) (laughs) What's the quote again? What's that Deer Park quote? There's there's like a lot of them. What's their slogan? It was like, Deer Park Water. Is that Deer Park? Give me that Deer Park. (laughs) 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 Is is that Deer Park? (laughs) Freshly squeezed Deer Park Water. Changes up every time, so you <laughs> never know, know what to expect. That's the genius of it. Is that, a, is that a deer in the park? <laughs> jar. Corner in the jar. 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 <laughs> That's bad. Stupid. <laughs> so what's what? Do oh, the question again. I forget know. the question. What did Aunt Jemima say? Are you familiar with Aunt Jemima? Yes. No. Yes. Of, of the Serbs. Yeah. What did she say when she ran out of the syrups? And the answer is... How waffle. <laughs> oh my god. That's so stupid. <laughs> that was a good one. I like that one. 
How awful. <laughs> I kind of liked it. So, all right, let's move along. And uh, Jared. <laughs> yes, yes. We love you so much, Jared. Really do. I'm sure, man. We do, man. I'm glad you're here. I like it when you're able to set aside your time and be with us here at SND. Okay? Uh, Jared's going to play his kazoo with us tonight. Oh, the kazoo. The kazoo. He's a professional kazooist. And if you're watching on the camera, <laughs> get ready. Okay, get ready. Yeah. And watch <laughs> close. <laughs> we, we, need, we just need to give him a minute to get over this. Oh. I, I could not just, do that. Just, just wait about 45 seconds. Aww. Aww. What, is, what do you want me to play? Like, I don't, I, I'm we, well, what is going on? That's that microphone. It's a bad. Hey, so bad. bad. Oh. My, my microphone needs prayer. Oh. Yes. Or let's lay hands on it right now. In Jesus' name. Jesus. It's gonna be like the farting preacher. Just, re just reach your hands out right now. Can, 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 can you feel it? Come on, don't do that. It's a real thing. <laughs> you know, you know why? Jared. You know why? I, no, I, you know why I had that though? Because kids who were older than me used to put their eyelids in oh, and, and chase me. <laughs> that was awesome. I was that kid. Aww, poor you, Jared. No, you were actually that kid. I was, I was like, like I was like, you are actually <laughs> Justin. Am I here? <laughs> Okay. We don't we don't have a song ready, but I want to think of a um, think of a TV commercial in the arms of a, a TV theme song, right? No. A TV theme song, yes, TV theme song. song. The new play. The, Office. the Office. The Office. The Office. That's That's a good one. Okay, Jared's going to play The Office on his kazoo. Okay. Right now. And wait, wait. We have to do, ladies and gentlemen, Jared the Epic Henry playing his kazoo. Here we go. <laughs> Does business. Does business is business. being dealt. Business. TC, exactly. TCB. Taking care of Taking me ways for no one. Taking care of business. Yes. So good. Very good. Thank you, Jared, very much for playing your kazoo with us. You're this lucky day. I did. Uh, well, I know we are. We're very, very lucky and blessed that. Free show. That he can play his kazoo for. Next That's show is, is at the Metropolitan? For, I think so. Is that your next 50 bucks a seat. That's the bleachers. Yeah. That's a standing room only. Yeah, once. What about a backstage pass? Oh, you no, I don't like talking. You gotta win that on the road. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like meet and greets. I no, I couldn't do that. He couldn't. He goes. He go out there. Shy. He'll go out there and do his performance and do a, a mic drop. No, he'll do a kazoo drop. <laughs> there you go. Like, like when, like, say someone's new at work. Like, I don't talk to them for like weeks until like I ha I'm forced to. Because it's just how I am. That reminds me, I don't know why, just thinking about that. It reminds me of a video that I watched about a week ago. It was called The Best Beatboxer You'll Ever Hear. Dude, this guy's legit. I think I might like, have it was like legit. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, there's no way he's doing this with like only his voice. And all of a sudden, he took the microphone away from his like mouth and he like just done it really, really loud. And he was still doing it. I'm like, huh. wow. That's legit. I'll have to show the video to you guys. Good story, Justin. <laughs> all right, I think that's about all we got time for today. Anything else we need to say in closing? Mm. Potato chip. We need to podcast get a hold of Beverly out. about Deer Park Water. Get, yeah, we still gotta get a hold of Beverly. Should about we try Colorado? You guys get nothing done here, man. Not You're really still done. on that. Well, we can't. We can't get a hold of Beverly. I'm gonna try Colorado one more time. Fire. I can't. I can't get a hold. She sent stuff to us, but we can't get in touch with her. We're like, we're entirely her. sure that she's still in the states. Is she still alive? Well, she does. Oh. She brings us our water here, and it's doing a bad job with the water because yeah, yeah. It's, it's not water. It's backwash. It's poisoning. Toilet water. I 
think it might be toilet water. No, it Does she have no voicemail? <laughs> no, she has no voicemail. Make that as complicated as possible. <laughs> yeah, she's not answering the phone. One more ring, that's it. Yeah, there's no voicemail. But here, here's what the water does sound like. That's before we bottle that's, it. That's, is that with the P and before the H? Or just and after you drink no it, H. Travis, no drink H. some of it. Okay. You're drink some that I just poured out for you. <laughs> yeah, twist your arm around the microphone there. There you go. There drink you go. Almost, almost. There you go. Excuse <laughs> you. All right. That was rude. No, it was <coughs> perfectly How natural. rude. That's life. <laughs> and we also want to work on a uh, Christmas. Mm -hmm. What was it? Travis? Like a Christmas carol or something? The Christmas. With a kazoo. Oh. <laughs> that is a good idea. Yeah, I'll have uh, Jared do a Christmas carol. It could be, it could be the, uh, what's that, uh, that? The Jew Christmas. There you go. Yeah, the it would be the Jewish Christmas. The Jewish Christmas. The Jewish the Christmas. Christmas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. That was a kill, Randy. Oh, God. So much anger. What is the jar with no, you? No, no. The, the, the jar is out. the receptacle. The, the, the cord receptacle. jumped out because Do you need know a that jar? There's nothing wrong with that. There we go. So, all right. Yeah, we're going to work on a Christmas special. Uh, reading of the Christmas story. Is that what it was? Christmas Carol. Christmas Carol. Maybe we'll read that with some sound effects and we'll get something pulled together for that. And then Jared will play a Christmas Carol song at the very end of it. That would be that would be epic. Oh, yeah. Grandma well, got yes, ran it would over. Did your grandma got ran over by a reindeer? We could do that. That actually so. happened, so you know, <laughs> it's not funny. Let's, let's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a personal tragedy. Yeah, I'm not even talking about it. Like, I, just, I, I don't care. He's, he's still working through that. What was your grandma doing out that night? <laughs> she didn't be in bed the rest of the night. He knows when you're sleeping, and he knows when you're awake. Apparently, he doesn't know when you're standing in the middle of the road. <laughs> he was chasing her. She said, Jared, get out of the room. Grandma, quit kissing that imaginary girl, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> this is Christmas. She likes me, though. <laughs> Christmas, Jared. Put All right, I'm we're under, we're under the mistletoe. <laughs> <laughs> Middle of the road. <laughs> Jared, 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 Jared. That was a snort. Uh, it was. Yes. All right, we're gonna leave you guys and leave you alone. I'm glad you made it through. Uh, listen to the other broadcast after the uh, the broadcast. Beat. Broadcast. That's right. Um, I, thought, I, thought you were to to I thought you were trying to say podcast. I thought you were trying to say podcast. Podcast, broadcast. It's the same thing. thing. You Sorry. questioned it. Careful of those yes. okay. yeah. How many quarters are you going to put in there? I think we put probably like $18 of the quarters in there tonight. So the screws. There we go. Now it's probably $18 and 25 cents. I think the microphone's jacked up again. Talking to it. Talk. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That ain't quarter leave, drop in there. That's any 72 other quarters. Any, any other 72 words? 72 quarters. How much does that average up to there? Uh, $18. Dollars. $17. Dollars, I guess. Wow. No, 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 no. Doesn't sound right. Oh, why don't you put it back on here? Okay, so, so you got 18 times about four because there's right. four. It's 25 equals a dollar. That's five. Here, that's five dollars. So five dollars <laughs> plus the six because the ratio of this, of the, I was going to say something earlier. The ratio of the circumference <laughs> is 11. <laughs> Can I say what I was, thought I was, no, was going to No, no. <laughs> we'll be dropping $10, uh, a roll of quarters in that jar. <laughs> it's not bad. It's it's actually... Anyway, what's the total? How much? You're looking at about... $212. That we made the night. <laughs> He is still working. Now, he's not, he doesn't have a calculator, folks. He's all in his head right now. That's how epic he is. How much do we have? <laughs> do you have a fire alarm? I thought I already answered it. I just, what was the answer? I was distracted by it. It's, it's $4.25. $4.25? I don't know. It's 72 quarters. Works enough for me. It's $18.25. I'm going to tell you what I, what I was going to say. Okay, okay. folks, we're getting out of here. We'll see you. Thanks for enduring the whole uh, podcast. And Ferrari. maybe broadcast, broadcast. maybe at the end of the broadcast, broadcast. podcast, outtake beep, we will have. That's what I said. Yeah, eighteen dollars. All right. That's what I said. That's what I said. Too. But claiming that's what it. she said. 
That's what we finish finishes. each other's yeah. sandwiches. Oh my gosh, she needs the jar again. That's what I was going to say. Oh. <laughs> she needs the jar again. What? Uh, Alright, folks, uh, we're out of here. I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Stop. Go. Uh, Carol Burnett's going to take us out. Bye. Instead of saying, start <coughs> conference. <coughs>